cheese folks. So I've never met a cheese I didn't like. Cheddar, Gouda, Brie, and I am always willing to try something new. There are some good stuff out there, and that's where the Houston Dairy Maids come in. They specialize in finding artisan American cheese makers who make their cheese by hand and bring them to us uh, to broaden our love for cheese. You guys, I'm totally embarrassed to even admit this. This is my first time here at the Houston Dairy Maze. Melissa, shame on me. It's okay, you're here now. <laughs> Everything's better. Right now, cheese board, charcuterie, they're kind of the hottest thing to do right now. But before we get into the spread in front of us, give us a little bit of a history because if you can't find a cheese here, mm -hmm. there's a cheese problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We have over 150 cheeses in house. Um, it does rotate a lot of our selections. We have a lot of Texas cheeses, uh, cheeses all around the United States that we get here. Mm -hmm. if, if we are a little intimidated, we can come here and you'll walk us through the process? Yeah. So a lot of people are familiar with the gateway cheeses like Manchango and Stilton and kind of your basic brie. We definitely have those in house and we're happy to guide you to kind of the next level of cheese or something that's more local. Okay, I'm drooling over here because you have <laughs> a couple boards set up. What is going on here? So we have a nice cheese that we actually sent to space. This is called Old Farm Doll. Uh, it went up with Shannon Walker a few months ago. Okay, I'm sorry, a space cheese? Yes, so space not cheese. this particular slice, it didn't go back, but this that's brand true. went up in space. Yes, it was really fun to be able to you know, send that up with her. And, you know, it's great that she's a fan of uh, Houston Dairy Mates, too. Absolutely. Yes. Can I try this Belgian? <laughs> of course. Let me cut you a little slice. Fabulous. Um, this particular rind you don't want to eat, but okay. um, it is pretty on the plate, so we serve it with that. Mmm. It's lovely. Nutty, kind of. Mm -hmm. And it's softer than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. It's a H Gouda, but it does have a nice sliceable texture. Nuts always pair well with cheeses. We like hazelnuts because they're kind of neutral. Um, we've got a fig cake here from Spain. This is um, a kind of a gluten-free option too if you don't want crackers. Uh, it's fig and almonds and it's just compressed. Um, this one here is Membrio. That's quince paste. That's also a traditional condiment from Spain. Um, people tend to pair it with the harder cheeses. It's just like a little bit of sweetness and different texture. We have um, salami here. You know, you can put a meat of your choice or no meat. Um, pickles always go nice with fattier meats and um, the acidity really helps kind of cut through that heaviness. And of course, your cracker of your choice, we like the Torelli crackers. They have a nice kind of breadstick texture and uh, nice to eat plain, you know, to go with your cheese so it doesn't outshine. And I love the fact, too, that you guys really focus on some Texas cheeses mm -hmm. and local cheese. That's kind of like a priority for you guys. Yeah, I think that was um, the owner's intention when she started this cheese business was to bring Texas cheeses to the Houston market. So uh, there wasn't really much, you know, a fanfare about it before, but now they're getting a lot more limelight, which is lovely. Okay, it is really one-stop shopping. So again, 150 different varieties of cheese under that roof. They also have wine, they have meats, they have everything that you could possibly need to build your board. They also offer pickup and delivery and also weekly cheese selections. Oh, cool. And then they'll say like, this is the wine that you should pair it with. So they take all the guesswork out of it. Super cool. 